Hey, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for your afternoon spread for October, uh, November 1st, pardon me, uh, 2021. Uh, to make a purchase, you can do that at tarotbarbie.com. Um, I got crystal sage incense, lots of packages on my website for personal readings. I do personal readings all the time. No need to ask, Virgos. If I'm available for personal readings, just go on my website and you'll find it there. TarotBarbie.com, all right? Uh, let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Hermit, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Wands in reverse there. You guys could have been dealing with a, uh, a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces. All right, Virgos. Coming with the Hermit card to the Four of Cups. You guys are saying to yourselves, like, you guys want to come out of that rut. Like, you don't want to be bored anymore. You want to try and find new things that you guys want to do. You guys are done sick and tired of always being by yourself with the Hermit card. Some of you guys want to kind of, like, go out, do your thing, Virgos. And and uh, it's time to start not literally going out and taking every offer that comes towards you. But, like, you know, Virgos, it's okay to come out of the Hermit Hermit, and, and go enjoy life, all right? You guys have been through so much delays and so much heartbreak here, which... It gives you guys kind of like a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth. But at the end of the day, somebody here might be talking a little bit shit. Page of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Virgo here who's bringing a lot of stagnation, a lot of stupid shit. Maybe this person's going to like secretly end up exposing themselves by accident here, Virgos. But at the end of the day, make sure you guys are paying attention to whatever this person is saying here. All right. The Emperor, the Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles. There might be some sort of shakeup, some sort of breakup between the two of you guys here, Virgos. And, and, and you guys might end up being a little bit separated for a little while, coming with the Tower card. However, though, you guys are going to continue to push forward, Virgos. You guys have a Taurus here from your past who wants to come for you. They do miss you. They feel really nostalgic on you, Virgos. They are going through a whole lot of stuff, too. Maybe you guys are also going through this breakup because this person here, this Emperor, has too much work that they have to do that they don't have time for you. So it makes it very difficult for them to have a fulfilling relationship with you, especially if you guys are housewives or, or you don't work or whatever the case is, you know, like this person always be giving you money, but you don't really have to do a whole lot. You just be have to, having to sit at home and they kind of like the breadwinner, right? But if they don't always, if they're not ever at home to give you love and affection and, and, and to take care of you in that type of way, then yes, Virgos, you guys are going to feel a little bit neglected. Uh, but at the end of the day, though, it doesn't seem like it's the best household here. It's the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Devil card, a little bit of a toxic energy, kind of dysfunctional family here as well. You don't have the fight anymore to put into this relationship. Seven of Wands in reverse, Three of Wands, and the Eight of Wands in reverse as well. Someone here is incredibly jealous uh, or th throwing jealous energy at you or envy on you as well. You don't you guys are going to not talk to each other for a couple days, maybe even three days, three weeks, three, eight days, whatever you want to call it. There's not going to be any communication because you guys are going to go through a separation that you don't have enough energy to fight for the connection anymore. You're not emotionally satisfied. Ten of cups in reverse, too toxic. You just feel bound. Everything feels like a chore for you. you that's the last thing y'all want, Virgos. Y'all don't want to be in a relationship that's going to feel like a chore. I said what I said, and sometimes I feel like a lot of you guys' ears just had gone up like bunny ears, like, droop. <laughs> it's, I'm not joking. You guys don't want to be in a relationship that feels like a chore. Whether this is you or your person, they don't want to feel like it's a chore. You don't want to feel like it's a chore. It's supposed to be fun, loving, you know what I mean? Get into fights, fix it, make up, keep it moving. But it makes it very hard. Somebody here, Virgo, may have ended up committing suicide about four weeks ago, four months ago, uh, or coming in just now in the next eight days or whatever the case is, all right? I'm sending you as my condolences. Also, Virgo, there's going to be maybe even a death coming in as well. Sending you guys also my condolences here, Virgo, but with the hangman here, four of swords, eight of cups, it left you guys very emotionally upset here. And you guys had no choice but to walk away from it, even though you may have not even really wanted to at the end of the day. And you guys kind of feel like whatever this person ended up doing, it was very, very selfish. Um, we can't really say anything, Virgos, at the end of the day. All we can say is encourage people on why life is so precious and why we all deserve to be here, uh, regardless though, Virgos. Um, it's a very sad situation, and I'm sending you so much love uh, to you and that person and whoever's going through that at the moment I'm so sorry Virgos and I really hope that you guys are going to be able to find a way to get out of that situation please Virgos if I have to give you some sort of encouragement of words if you are going through something like this and if you guys are always wondering like how come no one's there for me how come when I'm sad that nobody want to be there for me when I want to when I'm how come I'm always there for everybody but then when I need something everyone shuts the door in my face 
Virgos, you guys are survivors, okay? This is, you guys, sometimes, I know this is going to be a little bit hard to say at, at times. Sometimes uh, God gives his toughest battles to his favorite uh, soldiers, okay? And I know it doesn't make an excuse or anything like that. But I do want you guys to understand that a lot of people out here, they don't know how to love. They genuinely just don't know how to love at all. They don't know how to. And someone who's so is so sweet and so loving as you guys are who who would ever feel like this type of way ever, please, Virgos, please understand that you have a purpose here. You have a life purpose. And and it would be very sad to know that it was cut short because of the way people had treated you. Okay? Please, Virgos. Please, just if you have to, speak to somebody. There's always going to be somebody who's going to be there for you, no matter who. Just express it. Write it down on a piece of paper. Once you're done, get up, clean your hands, okay? Wash your hands, wash your face, and keep it moving. Cry it out if you have to. Make sure you cry that shit the fuck out. I'm not even joking. Cry it the hell out. And then once you're done crying, you get right back up again and you go listen to some happy ass music. I'm not even playing, Virgos. Don't be cheap. don't be there getting into that energy for too long, okay, sweethearts? I'm so sorry that you guys feel that way. Uh, seven of swords, six, seven of six, six of swords, excuse me. Seven of pentacles in reverse here, right? You guys. <sighs> some of you guys don't even want to invest into anything anymore here. Coming with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Some of you here is also fighting or struggling or when it comes to their finances here all right but communication is going to be coming in you guys are going to get the clarity that you guys need ace of swords four of pentacles no more in virgos trying to hold on trying to control everything when people control situations it makes it much more harder knight of swords in reverse somebody here likes to spend their money on a lot of stupid shit stop doing that start saving up your money i'm not playing i'm actually telling you guys this truth stop spending your money on stupid shit you don't even fucking need that money, <laughs> you know? I mean, you don't even need to buy that shit at the end of the day. You're sitting there walking through Walmart. What are you walking through Walmart for? <laughs> Just go home. <laughs> Somebody goes to Walmart. <laughs> Stop buying shit you don't need and start saving your money, Virgos. Please, for the love of God. It's the Knight of Swords in reverse. You're spending as if you're extravagant when you don't when you really have the money. You're having anxiety over money. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And then it's saying here that you still go ahead and you spend it. Maybe you guys are going to come to the realization like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing that anymore. Uh, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, I got the Queen of Cups from Sweethearts, all right? Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 201. You guys are going to have to go in for a moment and, and reflect on a lot of things that you guys got going on around you. A lot of you guys are single, very loving, very intuitive too, right? But... You guys stress out a lot about a lot. A lot. You guys stress out a lot about, especially when you guys become like overthinkers and become fearful, paranoid. Especially when it comes to your dream state, you guys are probably gonna get a lot of premonitions coming in just now with the seven of cups to the nine of swords energy. And just be careful, Virgo. Seven of swords. I don't like that energy if it's gonna be coming into your sleep state here. Um, if anything happens, you just immediately get right back up and and. Uh, <laughs> don't go back to sleep. I'm just joking. Don't. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> uh, regardless, though, you guys are reflecting back on the past from everybody who did bad on you here. Okay. I'm being serious now. Okay. So um, somebody here is reflecting back on the past and created a lot of fantasies and a lot of illusion out of things that would never have had to come to fruition it would never have it's a fantasy fantasy is you know is very fairy tale okay but this person here thought that their their fantasies were going to come to fruition seven of swords it didn't it was a failed attempt nine of swords they stressed out about it here virgos are right aries leo sagittarius this person's going to want to come back towards you but at the end of the day this person here the karmic is going to be staying hopeful hoping that they're going to be able to get the, their back but you guys are coming in as the queen of the nine of pentacles they want to come back to you they're turning away from this Queen of Wands. They don't want to be with them anymore, all right? But she's still staying hopeful, or he's still staying hopeful. Like, okay, no, they're going to be able to make it work. But <clears throat> somebody here was doing more than, they, more than they should. So there's going to be a complete ending. Done. Bye. You know, Five of Pentacles. Left that in the cold. No more relationship. You guys are manifesting, Virgos, the Divine Feminine. You guys are manifesting. <laughs> my cards did you guys see in the last reading that i did oh my god virgos all right i know i was really silly and no i don't do any uh i'm i'm never intoxicated okay i don't do stuff like that uh you can't do stuff like that when you're working in this in this type of stuff I, and i don't care who who you are at the end of the day you do you i do me okay i don't work with that shit um but 
coming into this situation here, Virgos. Uh, did you see all my cards moving at the last second of my reading? Every single card was moving. Every card was shifting. <laughs> they were so cute. Uh, magician card. All right, Virgos, you guys are coming in as the as very powerful manifestors here. You're not to be played with coming in with the Empress of the Magician card. You guys are very close to the Divine here, and the Divine will give you absolutely everything that you want. Anybody who tries to come in and mess with you, uh, they are going to get hurt with the Five of Wands energy, all right? Eight of Swords. They'll be trapped in their mind. They're not going to know what to do. You're not to be played with. You don't know who's protecting this one in the spiritual world. So if you're going to try this Divine Feminine, please understand that you're going to end up getting your ass kicked regardless. So please choose your battles wisely. And I say this to you guys much, a lot of times. Choose your battles wisely. Who, like, who are you attacking at the end of the day? <laughs> okay, on a real note. Who are you bullying? Who are you attacking? Who are you talking shit to at the end of the day? Are you talking and talking shit to somebody who can't, who, who can really defend themselves? Who are you at the end of the day? To be running up on anybody specifically. Sit your ass down and learn to humble yourself and learn to be fucking kind. Before you get your ass kicked five of wands by the spiritual world. You don't want that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Page of Pentacles, okay? Towards Virgo Capricorn, I expect a message coming in from this person here, Virgos. You guys also may be reaching out to an Aries Leo Sagittarius, all right? But this person may have a secret that it's that they're actually already married with the Four of Wands. And even though you may already have your suspicion on it, it's saying that the truth is going to unravel on its own, High Priestess. King of Cups. So even though you guys might feel like this person is already married, the truth is going to come out on its own. You don't have to do nothing. Just sit back and watch, Virgos, because you're going to be able to see uh, that the truth literally come out. The moon card's right there. In the month of Scorpio season, a lot of secrets are going to be coming out, sweethearts. A lot of secrets. And you guys are just going to be like, bam, I fucking knew it. Six of Wands. <laughs> All right. Uh, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, uh, in their hidden feelings, they do have a lot of love for you and everything like that. But it's very difficult because this person genuinely is honestly still married and you guys can feel that Virgos two of cups all right you guys might still have that really divine powerful connection between you and them but at the end of the day they married to somebody else so what are you going to do you know you're going to be the third wheel you're going to be the mistress what are you going to do no <laughs> don't put yourself in that situation all right be the queen of swords like what's up <laughs> what you coming to me for here all playful after you married you know what i mean like so you guys are gonna put your guard up nine of wands energy and they're still gonna reach out to you um and and give you some sort of gift here as well virgos but they're gonna be trying to balance everything out between the two of you guys the cycle between the two of you is not over as if yet just make sure virgos that in this situation that whoever it is that they're married to that they're not married to a soulmate and then you become the karmic that's the last thing that you guys want okay it's very everyone's got karma it's not a bad thing when you're a karmic it really is not a bad thing when you're a karmic it's not it's not we all have karmics it's just a shitty fucking relationship at the end of the day uh regardless though justice lovers king of swords energy this person is going to just express to you how much they love you, how much they, they find you so beautiful. Uh, new moon energy is coming in. So November 6th, this is going to be coming in for you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, specifically a Gemini and a Libra here. A Leo as well. Uh, who's going to want a new beginning here with you. But you guys might be a little bit at a crossroad not knowing whether or not you're going to want to talk to this person. Or whatever. Maybe this person is only going to be coming in just for an intimate connection. Specifically because of the lover's card to the ace of wands to the page of cups the last thing that you guys want to do is allow this person to come give you a gift just so they can get into your pants do not be uh naive that naive work was like oh my god like <laughs> you got you gotta you gotta level yourself up all right if you spoil yourself to the point where dead nobody's able to get into your energy but then if somebody comes in and just shows you a tiny little like here here's a little tiny fish Here's a chocolate bar. That's enough to get you in bed? Really, though? All right. Okay, so you guys need to uh, level up on your standards here, Virgos, and your expectations when it comes to people who are going to be cheap and, and slimy here as well, thinking that they can just give you something small to get into, into, your, into your pants. Uh, I don't think so. All right. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is going through a lot of shit at the moment, especially betrayal and heartbreak from people who they thought that were really close to them. Uh, their friends betrayed them really badly here, Virgos, and they're coming to the realization now with the judgment card, but when they find out the truth and see all that, 
Uh, they are going to be very, very happy. Their friends are going to be stalking and spying on this person, Virgos, when they realize that this person moved on with their life and chose happiness rather than hanging out with them. So this person is going to end up leaving their friends behind. And when they end up doing that, they're going to start talking shit, gossiping, and talking about how this person is officially becoming uh, happier now when they're all alone. Uh, they are going to be going through a lot of sadness because they're going to be really regretful on how they ended up choosing their friends over love. But, I mean, everybody makes mistakes at the end of the day. There's going to have to come to a day where they're going to have to realize, shit, I fucked up and I'm going to have to just move on with my life. And that's exactly what this person's going to do. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's going to be very, very regretful. So they're going to do whatever they need to do to focus on their work. Somebody here is also being watched at your workplace. So make sure you're doing your work diligently here, Virgos, as well. Do not slack, Knight of Cups. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this person wants to come to you, they want to balance everything out, they see you as a wish fulfillment, they see you as someone that they can have everything with, a marriage, happiness, financially, stable connection, this person has been very patient with coming back for you, they have a huge love offer, they want to give to you Virgos, even a proposal, and they want to move towards you now Virgos, you are the one that they want to be with, uh, and they're not going to stop. This person's coming in fast. Maybe after the proposal, you guys will end up having to book in and go on a trip. Or you guys may go for a drive or whatever the case is. Chariot card here as well. But at the end of the day, this person's coming back for you guys, uh, Virgos. And then with the Temperance card there to the Six of Pentacles as well. It's saying here, just be patient with this person here, Virgos. Because when this person loves, they love very, very big. Um, but regardless though... They are coming in, and they're coming in fast. Do expect the proposals. I can see a honeymoon coming in for this situation. So maybe somebody here just got engaged or is about to also get engaged here as well, Virgos. And, and then you guys are going to go straight towards your honeymoon. Uh, thanks, cuties. Bye.